Breeder reactors are reactors that create more atoms of fuel than they consume. Burner reactors are reactors that consume more atoms of fuel than they create. Typically, the term burner is applied to reactors that are specifically designed to destroy transuranics. These reactor types are classified based on their conversion ratio. CR is equal to 1 minus the ratio of the fission cross-section to the absorption cross-section. Breeder reactors have a conversion ratio greater than 1, and burner reactors have a conversion ratio less than 1. There are three types of reactors we'll examine here. Spectral shift converter reactors, LWR breeders, and liquid metal burner or breeder reactors. The RCVS is a thermal spectrum uranium plutonium breeder reactor. This reactor effectively uses MOX or mixed oxide fuel as some or all of the fuel assemblies in a PWR. Fresh fuel has an initial concentration of uranium 235, plutonium 239, plutonium 241, or other fissile plutonium isotopes on the order of 4 to 6 percent. This allows RCVSs to obtain burnups of 50 to 60 megawatt days per kilogram. The core is surrounded by what's called a breeding blanket composed of depleted uranium, which is then surrounded by a reflector, as can be seen in this radial figure here. The blanket of depleted uranium is where most of the new fissile material is bred in by capturing neutrons which leak out of the central core region. Light water reactor breeders are very similar in design to the RCVS, except that it uses thorium rather than plutonium. Otherwise, they have the same ideas with respect to oxide fuels and blankets and reflectors, etc. LMBRs have a history that is as old as the nuclear power industry itself. The experimental Breeder Reactor 1, or EBR-1, was the first electricity-generating reactor built in Idaho and first came online in late 1951. We can see the picture of the first four electric light bulbs lit by the EBR-1 on December 20th, 1951, in this image. With LMBRs, liquid sodium is the coolant. There are two main configurations for LMBR coolant, loops and pools, as we can see in this figure here. In the loop design, the steam generator interface is external to the reactor pressure vessel. In the pool design, the interface with the steam generator is inside of the actual pressure vessel, pressure vessel and inside of a pool of liquid sodium. The decision to breed or burn depends on the amount of blanket material present. More blanket material means higher conversion ratios and more breeding. Breeding or burning also depends on the squatness of the geometry of the core, or how much the core looks like a pancake. The flatter the core, the more neutrons will leak out, and the lower the conversion ratio will be, and so the more the reactor will burn fissile material rather than breed it in. To show this, first recall that for a critical reactor, the multiplication factor is equal to nu times the macroscopic fission cross-section divided by the macroscopic absorption cross-section plus the diffusion coefficient times the buckling squared, which, since the reactor is critical, happens to be equal to 1. This implies that nu sigma f minus sigma a is equal to db squared. Via some algebra, since we can add and subtract 1, we can say that 1 plus nu minus 1 times sigma f minus sigma a is equal to sigma f minus sigma a plus nu minus 1 sigma f, which is equal to db squared. Now, dividing both sides by the neutron absorption cross-section, db squared over sigma a equals sigma f minus sigma a divided by sigma a plus nu minus 1 sigma f divided by sigma a. Note that the first term on the right-hand side is just the macroscopic equivalent of 
the negative of the conversion ratio as given before. And therefore, db squared over sigma a is equal to nu minus 1 times the ratio of the fission cross-section to the absorption cross-section minus the conversion ratio. Solving for the conversion ratio, we see that CR is equal to nu minus 1 times sigma f over sigma a minus db squared over sigma a. The shape of an LMBR is a cylinder. And so recall that for a finite cylinder, b squared is equal to 2.405 divided by r squared plus pi over h squared. Therefore, the conversion ratio is equal to nu minus 1 times sigma f over sigma a minus the diffusion coefficient divided by sigma a times 2.405 divided by the radius of the cylinder squared plus pi divided by the height of the cylinder also squared. The change in the conversion ratio with respect to the reactor's squatness is the same as taking the derivative of the above expression with respect to the height of the core, h. dcr dh equals 0 for the first term, since the first term does not depend on the height, minus the, the diffusion coefficient divided by the absorption cross-section times 0, since the radius doesn't depend on the height, minus 2 times pi squared h to the divided by the height cubed. So dcr dh is equal to 2 d pi squared divided by sigma a h cubed. So decreases in h lead to larger leakage, which in turn removes conversion from the core, all other parameters of the core being equal.